guys, we are here today with the master, the millionaire, Mr. Marvin Guillermo. And today we have a special treat for you. First off, we are launching MakeMoneyGrow.ph. It's a 20 video course just for you. Subscribe now and comment down below. Make money. We'll get back to you. We'll DM you how you're going to be subscribing. We give you four videos straight up. We are going to be tackling three hard questions today. When is the best time to start monetizing your hobby? Is it okay to invest in companies who are doing some shady stuff or not being completely ethical in how they do business? Would you invest in that? And number three is how do you handle failure? You lose all your money in business. The busted girlfriend mo. You know, you lose your money in stocks. How do you handle it? Listen up and enjoy. Right now, we have a series of questions coming in via Facebook. And the first question we mm. want to tackle is by Mr. Lyle Apalisok. Lyle, thanks for tuning in today. Mm. And the question is, what is the best time to start monetizing your hobby? That's an interesting question. Huh? First time, one na mo sasabihin na. <laughs> the best time to monetize it is when you know you have a market. When you know people are willing to pay for it also. So, if you already... The, siguro what I want people to get is you take it step by step. You will know that you have a market if you've already tried it also. You you have proof that people will actually buy what you are selling regardless if it's a product or a service. So when should you monetize? If people like what you're doing, they'll definitely pay for it. Eh? If people like the product or service that you have, they will definitely uh, put a premium for it. So you will know. Because eh? if you give it for free, Tapos hindi na siya bumalik sa'yo. For example, you're selling cupcakes. But hindi ko alam bakit laging cupcake example ko. I don't even eat cupcakes. <laughs> oh, totoo. I don't even eat cupcakes. Pero if if you... Oh, nakakachabi kasi. Anyways, uh, if you have a cupcake, you give it to your friends for free and they don't even ask for more, mm -hmm. that's a sign already that your cupcake is not doing yes. so well. So what, what I will do is this. If I am a person and I say this all the time, I want to start my own cupcake business, I'll give it out for free. Then people, then suddenly, I have a friend who has a birthday will say, Oi, Marvin, I like your cupcakes. I have a birthday. Can you bake for me? Mm -hmm. That's where it will start because they will already pay for it. So that yeah. means already people like it. Then when I see more orders happen, because you can give a cupcake. Eh. Pero later on, when people start ordering, your packaging is not good. The way you present is, is not good. It won't be a business yet also. Because if, if you're selling a product, it's all about how it's also presented, especially if you want to uh, scale it up as well. I'll take it step by step. Then when people start ordering already from it, hmm, I'll, I'll probably say, I think this is something that I have a good product, but it's not yet a business. I have a good product. Pa lang. Next thing that I'll do is this. I will text all of my friends. I will PM all of the people that I know. I will email people and say, I have this product that this cupcake that has been bought this, 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 this by several times. And then do you want to buy? Yeah. Here's the price. So I don't have any risk because I will only bake once people start ordering. Yeah. Then once I get a lot of orders and they, I get more repeat orders from that, I'll probably post it in Facebook or yeah. Instagram also. And then I'll start marketing it from there. Then once I start, when once I have a page already, the page has traffic, yeah. it has traction, I'll probably go to a uh, Sunday market yeah. in Makati and then sell it there with my page there also so that there's a page when people see it, they know where to order yeah. also. So so that's when I, I start having a, a brick and mortar, not a brick and mortar, but it's also for awareness to also create more traction for it. But ako, ngayon, if, I, if I'm selling a cupcake, I won't do a brick, or, brick and mortar anymore. I'll just sell everything online. That's it. So how do you know when when's the time to monetize? When people are willing to pay you for it. If you if no one's willing to pay you, then you can't monetize yet. It's so, not a business. It's a hobby. So if you cupcake, na, bro, tell me. Oh, but I don't think I'll... No, 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 no. Uh, I will invest in a company that makes cupcakes. That's what I'll do. Uh, but you're not going to make your own. No, no. But if you do make your own, let me know. <laughs> not, a, not an operator. Ano ba ang hobby mo? Ano ba hobby mo? Ngayon, YouTube. Hmm. Making videos. Making videos uh, on YouTube? Uh, I, I even tried downloading NBA 2K and then Call of Duty to play sa phone ko. Wala, hindi ko masyadong nagamit kasi I like making more videos and I like watching videos. Yun lang. I... Wala nang nag-uusap tayo kanina during the break. Wala nang ibang goal eh. Parang I just want to make videos. So, so far, that's what I 
want to do lang. That's what I want to do na lang. Kung masig, totoo to. Mas, Lahat na kinikita niya sa YouTube. Hindi, hindi, hindi. <laughs> hindi, even, even before, even wala akong, walang kita, it doesn't really matter eh. So, gawa lang, gawa. Oh, kasi, I, it's still, the the earnings is still in the stock market. Pero, ito yung maganda doon. The stock market allowed me to do ev- anything that I want because I don't have to think about where I'll get the money yeah. because uh, investments take care of where I want or where, of my lifestyle or my operations. Mm-hmm. And then, yun, it allowed me to pursue whatever I want. So, mm-hmm. if YouTube earns, the even better. If it doesn't, okay lang. Pero, I still get to do what I want. Eh. Kasi, you know what? what's the most important? Money is not the most important thing. Eh. Happiness is eh. And I'll say this. If I have a choice between 10 billion pesos and 100 million, I'll pick 100 million doing the things that I like versus 10 billion. And ato, mm. I, I think I'm losing a lot of money right now because I'm doing YouTube. Mm. Because I could do other things that will make more money for me. Eh. Masaya ako sa YouTube eh. Mm. Masaya ako dun eh. So, hindi na, kahit mag-YouTube, alam ko naman nasa point ako ng buhay ko na kahit mag-YouTube ako, hindi ako magugutom. Mm. So, parang ganun. But, am I losing a lot of potential opportunities because I do YouTube? I'm sure I, I am. Pero, yun ako masaya eh. Guys, it's very important, no? For us to know that even if YouTube na lang ginagawa ni Marvin. Hindi, kahit wala na siyang ginagawa, hindi, hindi, hindi pa rin siya magugutom. Ang tawag doon, retired. Hindi naman, retired hindi naman, at 30, hindi, 3 years old. Hindi naman, hindi naman. It's just that, ano, I, I know, I've computed what I spend and it, it has just to come to a point where uh, what you get can take care of what you spend. And then, oh, okay na yun. For, uh, for me, wala naman akong ano eh. My lifestyle is generally simple compared to to, to other people you you see the other people in my video sila Carl sila Carl D once they once they sell this property they buy more property they build a pool ako wala naman akong ganun eh mm-hmm. so may mahilig lang akong magkape may hilig lang akong kumain yun lang minsan may travel that's it but yeah. it walang walang goal to buy a yacht walang goal to buy a plane mm-hmm. walang walang anything eh. yung happiness ko talaga YouTube that's it and walang bayad yun eh walang bayad mag YouTube eh so, <laughs> so I, I don't have any goal that I want to buy something later, later on so Yun, wala sa, wala sa akin eh. So, ganun, ganun lang sa, makain ko lang yung gusto kong kainin everyday. That's it. No, no other, I, I don't... Maraming tao pangarap, yun yung pangarap eh. Alin? Ano advice natin sa kanila? Paano maging semi-retired kagaya? Hindi! Ah, uh, ito pa, ito pa, ito pa. <laughs> ito pa, ito pa interesting. Ito pa interesting. Don't focus on retirement. Don't focus on retirement. Focus on having something where you get to live your life at your own terms. Meaning, you're still working, but because you still work, you earn more because you're doing what you like to do. Sim- I'll give you an example. Carlo Ople hmm. makes more from everything that he does digitally than what he makes as an executive of PLDT. Hmm. If you're an executive of PLDT, you make a lot of money already. But same thing. He does, he's not retiring from his job because he likes to see money pangilinan. He likes to learn from money pangilinan. Pero he's enjoying from YouTube also. Hmm. So what, it, what I want people to do is you save money you invest money so that that the things a point in time where if you want to pursue the other things that you want you can do it pero if your if your job if you like your job you don't need to resign eh dumating lang kasi sa point na ano eh di talaga I, I was in HP dumating lang sa point na nakita ko di ako pang IT yun na I was more excited pag pag may pasok kasi bukas yung stock market kesa sa walang pasok na sarading stock market eh normal <laughs> oh diba normal concept ng employee gusto mo walang pasok kasi Ano eh, you get to rest or you get to do other things. Eh. Ako, I was excited na na may pasok kasi bukas yung market noon. Mm-hmm. So, I was more excited about investing that at the latter part of, I was I, I was in corporate for five years. At the latter part of being in corporate for five years, parang hinihila ko na lang sarilo sa office eh. Mm-hmm. So, yun. Parang it came to a point na na everything that I needed to learn from the corporate, I got it already. And I knew it naman eh, second month of working. Sabi ko, I won't be an employee forever. I will be an entrepreneur. That's why, uh, habang nagtatrabaho ko as an employee, nagbibusiness ako ng sobrang daming side businesses. Sabi mo, magbigay ka ng klaseng side business, baka nagawa ko yun. Uh, and every time I did that, I barely spent money. Yung, yung nakita na ng tao ngayon, ito interesting, nakita na ng tao ngayon, yung pangarap nila gawin yung ginagawa ko. Pero hindi naman nila nakita what I did seven years before that na Ano, puro laki yung pansit. Totoo, to, habang kumakain yung mga office mates ko sa labas, ako laki yung pansit katon sa office. Nagbabaon ako sa office. Yung hindi nakita ng tao, habang lahat sila nagla-lunch out, mag-isa lang ako dun sa cubicle. Kumakain ako ng baon ko. Nakikikarpool ako sa kapitbahay ko everyday. Sir, talagang gumigising ako maaga kaya hindi ko kailangan gumising maaga para sumabay sa kanya. So, tinatapatan ko rin minsan ano, oras sila uwi para hindi ako 
Parang hindi ako gagastos. Pero ngayon, ha? Araw-araw 5 star hotel na. Hindi naman. Bakit 5 star hotel? Yun yung, yung trade off, guys. Hindi. Lucky me ka muna 7 <laughs> years. Tapos araw-araw 5 star hotel mo. Hindi ka na kagaya ni Marvin. Hindi. hindi. So, <laughs> so, so, doon. so yun yung trade off. Pero yun yung trade off that a uh, few years of of hustling tapos not spending and then taking everything and then investing it ah uh, mababawi mo siya later on eh mm. so yeah pero kung 5 star di naman hindi naman ako mahilig sa 5 star hindi naman basta <laughs> di, kailangan malinis tsaka maganda yung hotel ayoko naman nung ano yung, yun yun eh 5 star hotel hindi <laughs> naman hindi naman di, yung kasi I've been to so many hotels na sobra as in, as in sobrang dami na minsan pagkabukas ko ng bed sheet may parang may parang stain stain na gano'n so, oh, oh. so parang grabe yun, oh eh. grabe kaya yun, at least ano, a place where you get to rest lang ng tama. The, the question again is, when is the best time to start monetizing your hobby again by Mr. Dial Apali? So, mm. we've heard Marvin's take. My opinion on that, best time to start monetizing your hobby is when people start to tell you that you're really good at what you do. Mm. And why aren't you making a business out of it? Mm. Why aren't you using it as a service? Or it could be another, another site and they're asking you, hey, can you do that for me? I'm willing to pay you. Yeah. And when you hear that, then that's the time to start monetizing mm. your hobby. Next question is from Mr. Mi- Michael Dairit Fernandez. Mm, Nick- his nickname is Misha. This is Misha, what's up, Misha? I'm <laughs> close. <laughs> yo, yo. What are your thoughts on ethical investments? How about investing in companies whose politics or political connections you agree or disagree with? I don't know. Eh. Ako, I, I invest where I get a return. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, ano eh. So, Apathetic. Parang, I, agnostic, I, I, agnostic. I, I, idol ko si, ako, idol ko si Kevin O'Leary. Eh. Sabi niya, hmm. he'll give money to a goat if he can get a return from that goat. Also. <laughs> oh, totoo, totoo. Totoo. Ito, so, ano naman eh, for me, paano malalaman kung maganda, kung tama yung pinanggalingan ng pera? So, eh, if Ayala Land has a property where may pogo doon, meaning may nagsusugal doon na Chinese, paano yan? Di mo na mabibili yung Ayala Land. So, it's hard also to differentiate companies all, all together. You buy San Miguel Corp, San Miguel Corp has San Miguel Beer, ayaw mo na San Miguel Beer, pero gusto mo yung San Miguel Construction Company. Eh, you cannot buy you cannot buy you cannot separate all of all of those brands together so it it becomes tricky but if uh it's very very important for you to buy the ones that are ethical the you have to really narrow it down on what's ethical also because for example merong hindi mag invest ng consumer companies that make these kinds of clothes because those clothes are made from sweatshops in yeah. Bangladesh also so for other people that's a no no for them for other people naman that's rev- that's revenue. People buy Nike. Yeah. So other people won't buy Nike because of of that. Other people naman will buy it because Nike is a brand. So other people won't buy Starbucks because of this, this, this. Other people will buy Starbucks because of this. So what's important is you buy based on your set of parameters. Mm-hmm. Sa akin, parameters ko, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, what the charts will tell me, I buy. Fundamental analysis, what the earnings are, I, I will buy. Then, when I earn, I use the money and use it for good. Mm. For me, it's what you do with the money that comes your way that will make an impact on the world around you. So, I don't know. It becomes it becomes tricky because if you buy Mega World, Mega World owns a condo, owns townships. Pero they also have property kung saan nagsusugal yung mga tao. So, Parang yeah. it becomes it becomes tricky. I, I so I don't I don't know. But for me, I just buy based on based on the earnings and the returns. Mm. So I don't know. You're the guy. Super ethical. Super. Super ethical. Super, oh, oh, well, oh. ethical SEO. Yes. In terms of investments, same stance ako with Marvin. But if like talagang dark yung ginagawa ng company, mm. if I know that there's something dark about it, mm. that's against the Bible, then I would think twice about it. But as far as I'm concerned, for example, yung ginamit mong San Miguel beer, I mean, alcohol, I drink beer, it is fine for me. It depends on, it's relative to how your legalism is in terms of your theology. That's my opinion. There are people who are more relative in terms of gray, uh, stepping on gray areas their theology naging theology na tayo bro mm. <laughs> so ito, ito pa just to ano uh, for example as simple as this Jollibee 
Madami tao ayo sa Jollibee because hindi sila nagre-regulate ng workers. Mm. Madami tao ayo na mining company because of what it does in the environment. So I don't think you can find a company na 100% pure na walang problema. Oh, na walang problema. There will always be something because we live in an, we live in a world that's not perfect. The only perfect right. guys, asawa ko, bukod sa kanya wala na. Everything else flawed. All right, that's the, the that's the second question. We have the last question. Last question, number three. How do you start again after failure? So let's say you make a trade, you lose half your money. How do you? Uh, you lose like let's say you lose hundred percent. That's a misconception of stocks that you can lose one hundred percent. Ah, sa Philippines, unless you leverage or you borrow, that's the only time you lose one hundred percent. Pero if you don't leverage, you don't borrow, you don't short, you just go long. You don't lose, eh. Yeah. Especially if you buy a good company pa, may ipit ka lang, pero maganda yung company, may dividends siya. Mm-hmm. So, it's not as complicated as what other investments are. Invest, other investments kasi, yung minimension mo kanya yung options, it can go to zero. Yeah. CFDs can go to zero. Forex, wind margins can go to zero. Bitcoin can go to zero. Or other cryptocurrencies can go to zero. But for stocks, buying good companies with dividends, it won't go to zero. So, yun. How do you bounce back? Well, you just ne- you just don't stop. You never stop. You don't stop trying, no matter how hard it is. Yun yung maganda bi- bilang an entrepreneur. Eh. Pag employee ka, you make a mistake. You can always blame your boss. Eh. You can blame your supervisor. Eh. Pero when you're an entrepreneur, you can you, you have nowhere to hide. Eh. Yep. If if you make a mistake, it's all on you. Eh. So yung advantage don is if you make a mistake, use that mistake as a stepping stone to learn more, do it again, never never stop, never stop trying, never never stop. Kahit wala tao na niniwala sa inyo, lahat ng kaibigan mo, magulang mo, sinasabi, tigil mo na yan. Eh, kung alam mo talaga, that's what you're supposed to do. You keep on pursuing it, you never stop. You keep on you keep on doing it. If you fail and then you stop, sayang experience mo din eh. Use that experience. Kung the product that you're selling really is not good, baka it's time to pivot and to try some, something else. Pero you don't stop. Sayang eh. If you stop, that's when you that's when you lose eh. Yep. So yon, you take that experience and you use it either as a way for you to do better in that business or that trade. You use that experience to do better on enhancing whatever you're doing, or totally use that experience to shift and start something else. Yon. Mm-hmm. Or simplest way, you lose money. Write a book. Why I lost money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean? And make money out oh, of you, it. Oh, you know, you know, you know, pivot mo. Oh. Toto, we're, that's why now we're doing this online course because if this online course does not work, we're going to say, how we lost money from making an online course or <laughs> next book, why should you not do an online course? <laughs> <laughs> There's always a way to to get something out of it. Eh. Ako, ganun ako, eh. I'm, a, I'm an optimist na hindi nakapikit yung mata. I'm an optimist that sees things that I will work to make it happen. Yun yung ano, yun yung, hindi ako talagang ibang entrepreneurs na, hindi, things will go well, ano lang, uh, laban lang ng laban, eh kung wala ka na talagang pera, anong, gag- anong gagawin mo? Okay. Yun, so, that's it. My opinion on how to get up again after failing. Number one, you should pray. That's the number one. Ask God why See, taas na ng ranking kay God talaga yung grabe. Hindi. Oh, no, you, you, kasi kung ako, oh, yun, yun yung talaga yung gagawin ko. For me, at the end of, at the end of this him. life, you get, you, you, you're you not gonna be able to get anything. It's your soul and you're gonna stand before God. And He controls everything. He owns anything, everything. So, the first thing I would do is if I fail, I would ask God, Lord, nangyari. Ah, yeah, eh. bakit ako na busted? <laughs> no, bakit ako nagbumagsak sa business? Bakit yung stocks ko nag-negative? Mm. After I ask God whether I get an answer or not, then I now look inward in myself, what have I done wrong? Nagpabaya ba ako? Did I not manage my financials well? Did I not check cash flow well? Did I have more expenses than revenue? How long did it go on? Why didn't I cut expenses? Why can't I get more revenue out of my clients? Why did I do more marketing? Mm. I have to ask myself these questions and see where my efforts have influenced this failure mm. and change immediately. Kaling. Kaling. <laughs> Yan ang matututunan nyo sa so Make profound. Money, Grow Money course. 20 videos. We talk about how you can start when you're an entrepreneur to make money, the disciplines you need, the things you don't need, and how to grow your investments in the grow money section. Marvin is going to speak there. Again, that's 20 videos. It's a subscription model. We give you 
four videos immediately when you subscribe in that course. We we charge a subscription model, but again, four videos ka agad yun straight up. Or if you want to enroll for the whole year, me bonus yun. They get everything in one go already. Enroll yep. for the whole year, everything in one go, and discounted pa yun. Oh, discounted so pa yun. Details are below. You get two also. months free. Oh, you just pay for ten months. Mm. That's it. One down, get the twenty videos. Galing. Yeah, so I think that's a wrap, no? Mm. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in. We have the master, the millionaire, Mr. Martin <laughs> Guillermo, Mr. Stock Smarts, and I'm your host, Sean C., mm. the host of Leadership Stack. Please listen, tune into the podcast on Spotify or iTunes. Thanks, guys, for tuning in.